A hobby that I started this year is called Bible journaling. And Bible journaling is basically illustrating your faith as you read God's Word. And I have a few entries in my journaling Bible, but it's a pretty small space in there. And there's times that I really want to branch out and get a little bit bigger and use different mediums. So I went, I just went to Michael's and picked up quite a few things. I got really good deals on some of them. I picked up a few things so that I can branch out and illustrate my faith in different ways. So let's head on into the house and I will show you exactly what I bought. These are the things that I bought from Michael's today. Michael's is a craft store um, here. And so all of these things came to about $35 and that's with tax. And I used a 40% off coupon off of one of the items. I'm not sure which one. Um, so over here, these I decided to get scrapbooks. Um, and inside these scrapbooks, there I'll be able to um, illustrate a, the paper. I have a, I actually bought this cardstock to do the illustrations and then I'll put this paper into the sleeves that are in this scrapbook. So I have I have a scrapbook here and it was actually a buy one get one free deal. So I got a red one and I got a very dark navy blue. And then over here I got a little pad of different colors of paper just to make some embellishments on my illustrations. I got a little pack of acrylic paints. There's 18 colors in that pack. I got these tabs that I thought were really cute. They're little sticky notes, but I'm gonna use them as tabs to show which pages in my Bible that I've done um, some kind of illustration. And of course the cardstock. So all in all, um, I think this will definitely help me to have a better um, outlook and a better um, way of illustrating my faith. This is my journaling Bible that I purchased from Amazon about a year ago and I really liked this um, leaf design on the front. It's a faux leather cover and it's really soft leather and the reason why I liked this kind of cover is because when you open up the Bible it lays really flat so that when you're illustrating in one of these columns, it doesn't try to close on you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the different, um, the different responses that I have so far in my Bible so that you can kind of understand why I decided to go with a little bit bigger paper because you'll see that it's really just not enough room sometimes to do everything that you want to do. This is the first one in my Bible that I did. Um, it was from Genesis about the seven days of creation. I had actually a lot of fun doing that one. That was fun. The next one that I did was in Joshua. The Be Strong and Courageous one. It's uh, Joshua 1.9. The next one was in Job. Psalms I spend a lot of time in studying it because it's such a beautiful book and so many songs of praise are written from them. So I really, I really spend a lot of time understanding them. So that's why you see a lot of these uh, different illustrations so that I understand the Psalms a little bit better about what it's talking about. But anyway, here's the illustration for, um, it came from Psalm 1, 6. This is the one that I'm actually in the middle of doing right now. That's why the bookmark is in it. So this has to do with, um, it's in Isaiah, it's Isaiah 6, and it's, um, it's when the, the seraphim that had the six wings, um, 
it called to another and said, uh, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. So I'm kind of illustrating that verse there. In the process. And the last one I'm going to show you is here. This is from in Romans. The righteous shall live by faith. That's Romans 1.17. And this one is Romans 2.10 glory and honor and peace for everyone good and then I kind of drew a little faint I don't know if you can see that very well but I drew a little dove in there it doesn't want to focus there we go so I drew a little faint dove in the middle of that in the middle of the words there so that um, this has to do with there's gonna be tribulation but the glory and honor and peace yeah, for everybody who does good. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of my Bible journaling hobby, uh, maybe I could do a process video or something. But if you'd like to see more of these videos, please leave a comment below.